everybody welcome back to my channel today I've got a quick kind of show you my collection video video thing um, but I wanted to share with you my eyeshadow palette collection I've been collecting eyeshadows now for a short time not very long um, but I think I've managed to get some really really nice palettes and I just thought I would share them with you see if you have any views and opinions of them and at the same time um, maybe make some recommendations and other palettes that I might like to try and um, if there's any palettes that you really like maybe we can do some like future videos on anyway so the first palette I have is my staple palette so this palette actually I'll talk you through them in order so my first palette is the MAC um, neutrals warm neutrals palette um, so I bought this for I think it was about 50 pounds from uh, John Lewis um, so they do a warm neutrals one and it just got a oh, open it up there we go. it's got a lovely collection of very warm lovely tones in it I love mixing this kind of like kind of goldy brown with this kind of really really light shimmery gold colour it's lovely um, let me just swatch that on for you so it's a lovely little goldy toned colour and that one there um, they are really nicely pigmented they blend beautifully um, and they are just it's a perfect palette for everyday looks I also have the um, cool toned one I don't use this one as much but I do use it for like the more like purpley shades inside um, which are really nice I've still not got this plastic thing off there we go so it's just got some lovely kind of uh, pinky purpley shades I love this one it's probably my most popular it's like a nice shimmery kind of muted pink color um, and some of these sort of more purpley mauvey colours are lovely um, really nice again for an everyday look so those two palettes are the ones that I reach into most days so one of the first palettes I bought was the Balm Appetite palette this has had quite mixed reviews um, when you open it it looks like this and it says eat your heart out um, which I think is really really cute um, and you get some really big pans so they've got a massive amount of shadow in there um, but I do have some issues with this palette absolutely love this colour hit pan really good transition shade um, all over lid colour sorry um, love uh, racing bed as well that is really really nice kind of neutral brown uh, mac and cheese lovely rocky ice cream uh, titsy top and crispy bacon um, are beautiful shades it's these ones at the bottom that I have issues with this one uh, Alfred Paso it just doesn't blend very nicely it's quite cakey but it swatches nice and arty choke dip arty choke dip it's kind of like a silver color um, but it just doesn't um, it's not it's yeah it doesn't really work with a lot of the other tones in the palette um, but it is beautiful I like it it's not one I reach into every day um, but it's a nice palette and I might do a video on it at some point uh, one of my other little mini palettes which I love is my Tarte Man Eater palette this came from QVC and was in a set and has some beautiful warm brown everyday tones in it um, meow I've almost hit pan in that one um, absolutely love that as a little sort of like highlight color um, and it's got this lovely um, kind of shimmery color across here which you can kind of use as an all-over highlighter um, which is really nice but it's not it doesn't work all over as a highlighter for me um, this palette smells of vanilla it's gorgeous really really nice um, definite recommendation if you can pick one of those up another one of my favorite palettes is also by Tarte and this is the Tartlet and I think it's the second Tartlet palette I think or it might be the original I'm not 100% sure um, but it just comes with very very similar kind of tones you can kind of see that I like these sort of like pinky pinky colors um, this is best friend which is just a lovely marvy colour, um, bombshell, oh, 
they are so pigmented in this palette it is ridiculous i mean let me just let me just oh yes yes beautiful beautiful palette really like their eyeshadows theirs are um they're like amazonian clay eyeshadows rather than like talc based and they are just beautiful they blend really nicely um can't recommend them enough really lovely lovely eyeshadows so next two palettes that i have are this won't be a surprise to anybody <laughs> how many videos have i done on this and i've got another one to come yet this is the subculture palette so done by Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills um, absolutely love these these are more of a pressed pigment than they are an eyeshadow they are very um, they're, they're nice they're beautifully beautifully pigmented I love that color edge I mean look how oh, yes love it um, beautiful beautiful shades they're really unusual um, and different and kind of versatile in the sense that they're things that you probably haven't got in the rest of your collection so I do like it for that reason but they are harder to work with. I also do have the Modern Renaissance Original Palette, I've had this for a while now so mine's starting to get a bit grubby um, but um, yeah I mostly use uh, these sort of transition shades at the top and these muted sort of pinky tones in it um, because they are the colours that I tend to go for. Okay, where are we now? Oh, let me show you this. This is the MAC palette that I'm actually making. Um, so, I'm actually trying, well, I started making this last year, sometime about then. So in here, I've got a blush and a contour shade and then some eyeshadows. So I thought this would make a really, really good travel palette um, once it's done and some nice poppy colors. And then I'm gonna have like three transitional shades and another two poppy colors, but I'm not sure what they're gonna be yet. One of the first eyeshadow palettes I bought quite a while back was the foiled 28 color eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. So you can pick these up on Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty, one of the two, I can never remember. Um, and they are just basically um, really nicely pigmented, bright, funky um, colours. They very much remind me of the Morphe 35B, um, which are the th bright colours. Um, let me just show you some of these. Look at that blue. Oh, ho, 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 ho. isn't it cool? Um, and there are some funky purples in here as well. Um, look at that. Um, yeah, so they're really nice shades. The only thing I would say with these is that they don't have the um, staying power of some of the other um, eyeshadows that I've used. So they are nice, but they just they just don't last all day. Um, but for thirteen pound, can't really complain. So the next palette is a more recent purchase. This is the Naked Heat palette. Um, a lot of people have seen this. Um, I've been using it quite a lot. Um, it's very sort of autumnal, in my opinion, these colours. Um, and the only thing I find with it is that when you start blending them, a lot of them kind of seem to look the same. You kind of get very similar looks whichever way you go. So it's not a hugely versatile product. Um, but I've never tried um, any of the Naked range, so I wanted to try this one because it was hyped up and new. Um, I also have the Urban Decay um, Pro Spectrum palette. This is the more brighter tones, um, which are just beautiful. Um, I absolutely love uh, Mean and Hatter. Um, Hatter, I think, features in the Alice in Wonderland one that they did as well, which is beautiful really really nice shades in there and fun for kind of like theatrical fun looks that you want to do moving on to my favorite brand morphe can't go wrong with morphe can you so i have a good size collection of morphe palettes now um Ooh, let me open it up. This is my newest one. This is the um, 12 Z palette. Um, beautiful, beautiful jewel based tones. Um, they're almost shifted colors. So if I take this lovely bluey color, 
I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but it's almost got like a brown shift to it. It's so beautiful. Let me see if I can swatch it on my arm around here. Ooh. Oh, it's gorgeous. So nice. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing with this a little bit more. Today I'm using the greens on my eyes um, and they are just beautiful and pigmented and gorgeous. Love this palette so much already. I think it's £9 at the moment and it's an offer at Cult Beauty or Beauty Bay. Um, so do check it out because it's worth it if you can get your hands on it. One of the other palettes that I've got from Morphe is the new Copper Spice one. Um, this was just kind of like, I couldn't say no to it. It's this warm orange coppery tones. It reminds me quite a lot of the 35-0, but at the same time, you've got some kind of more richness to the palette um, with a lot more shimmery tones um, that are kind of on the coppery side rather than like the orange neutral side if that makes sense um, I really really like this palette it's one of the ones that I go to every day um, and they have a vast majority of transition shades so if you have lots of palettes that don't have transition shades in them this is a good palette to get palette so this is the morphe 35 f oh my god i love it so much this is the morphe 35 f um this is one of my favorite palettes that morphe have brought out it is just adorable i mean look at those beautiful rich autumnal colors um, i think zuella absolutely raved about this when it came out as well it's just gorgeous now you only have a small selection of mattes down the side here um, most of them are shimmers but i mean they are just like butter um beautiful beautiful shades um oh yes love this palette so much when it came out i could not get my hands on it managed to get one and now it's so beautiful i just don't want to reuse it but i'm saving it for winter mostly i also have the 35t so the 35t is mostly sort of like taupey beautiful shades that are quite pinky toned um but like marvy colors oh they're just to die for i absolutely love this palette it's really really neutral it's got some gorgeous shades in it um i absolutely love this sort of muted purpley tones oh they are beautiful it's like a rose gold oh absolutely love it so much and I think the 35T, I think the 35T is one that doesn't get talked about enough because I think that it kind of gets overshadowed by a lot of the warmer toned palettes. But I do really like this one. I think it's got a lot of, although the colours are quite the same, a bit like the Naked Heat palette in some respects, um, you can get like really different types of looks from it um, and like nice everyday neutral looks and I think this is a really really good strong palette and of course how could we not have Morphe and not have the 35-0 so the 35-0 palette is beautiful so you have these real true punches of orangey tones which I absolutely adore oh my god they're like oh gorgeous um, and then nice nice warm kind of brown tones I tend to stay in this sort of area of the palette I don't kind of venture too far that way being that I'm quite pale but these are just lovely really really nice colors really beautifully coppery um inspired oh um I, that's the first morphe palette that i ever bought um so that is the main bulk of my eyeshadow collection at present um let me go, let me know what you think guys let me know if you've got any of these palettes too how much you get on with them whether you enjoy them or not and um i will catch you all later um, i'll be doing a couple of looks with these at some point soon probably um and i'll see you soon